Hello everyone, it's your friend Savab, and today we are going to be counting down the top 10 Club Penguin rewritten minigames. Before we get into the video, please remember to like and subscribe. Let's get into the video. First up we have the minigame Puffle Rescue. Puffle Rescue is definitely one of the most fun games on this list, but it comes with a few flaws, such as the terrible amounts of coins you get when you finish playing. Not just that, it actually is a pretty difficult game to play that needs a lot of time, effort, and practice to get good at it. And you don't start enjoying the game until you're good at the game. Next up we have System Defender. Now let me just quickly say that tower defense games are really fun, but Club Penguin Rewritten doesn't seem to capture that same fun. Though you may get decent coins, the gameplay is actually pretty boring, and you only get the choice of three different towers to use. Up next we have Catch and Waves. Now honestly, Catch and Waves is pretty fun and has multiple game mode choices, but the amount of coins received when finished isn't worth the amount of effort putting into the game. Next up we have Puffle Launch, which just like Puffle Rescue is definitely one of the more fun games to play, but one of the worst for coins. Though you can get a decent amount after playing a long time, it takes a lot of training to get that far within the game, which takes away from the fun of the game. At the number 6 spot we have Bean Counters, and honestly it does have some values that could boost it up higher on this list, but honestly it's way too repetitive to get higher up and you don't have enough fun to make up for the repetitiveness. At our number 5 spot we have Ice Fishing. Ice Fishing is an amazing game with loads of obstacles and fun times. The only thing that really takes from the game is that like Bean Counters, it's repetitive and the reward doesn't make up for it. Next up we have Pizza Tron 3000. Now honestly this game is one of the more evened out games to play on this list. Your reward is satisfying for the amount of work put into the game. It's just a little repetitive, but it makes up for it by being very fast paced. At our number 3 spot we have Puffle Roundup. Now I know what many of you are thinking that the game is totally boring, but I believe once you learn different tricks and skills, the game will be much more enjoyable. Not just that, I believe it's the best game for receiving coins on Club Penguin Rewritten. Many people will result to Card Surfer for receiving coins, but I believe that out of all the mini games on Club Penguin Rewritten, Puffle Roundup will, receive, you, will allow you to receive the most coins in the least amount of time. Next up we have Card Surfer, and I totally understand what I said about it not getting you enough coins compared to Puffle Roundup, but it is a way, way more fun game to play. And honestly, the coins are pretty rewarding for the amount of time and effort put in. Though it may not be as much as Puffle Roundup, it is enough for the amount of time and effort placed into this fun game. Finally, we have at the top of our list, Aqua Grabber. In my opinion, Aqua Grabber is one of the most fun games in Club Penguin Rewritten. And unlike the other really fun games, you earn a lot of coins that are worth the time and effort. It's a fun adventure game that has you constantly thinking about obstacles and the health of your ship. It, it's overall a very fun game that allows you to earn a lot of coins, which is why it's at the top spot for the best Club Penguin rewritten minigame. If you enjoyed this video, let me remind you again to like and subscribe. If you disagree or agree, please remember to comment down below what is your favorite Club Penguin rewritten minigame. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.